Hi there, I'm Sam, and today I'm going to walk you through how to get up and running with SmartLoop. We'll cover the ins and outs of setting up your first loop, how to add your content right from Pinterest, and finally, how to manage your loops so you can step away from Pinterest with confidence and get back to creating, knowing that Tailwind will keep your schedule active. SmartLoop was created to help you save time resharing your existing evergreen or seasonal Pinterest content. Resharing gives your content a better opportunity to get in front of people who are more likely to engage with it. With SmartLoop, you can set up a collection of pins that you want to reshare. We call these loops. When you first get started with SmartLoop, you can set up multiple loops, each with different types of content that will automatically be distributed across your schedule at the best time for your audience. Most members are setting loops up with their most popular pinning categories and different seasonal content. You can manage all your loop pins, edit or adjust your loop settings, and see an overview of your looping schedule, all from the SmartLoop dashboard in Tailwind. Let's walk through how to set up your first loop. You can click the New Loop button in the dashboard to create a new loop. The first step when you create a new loop is to select the type of loop you want to create. Evergreen loops will continuously reshare the pins you add, so this is the best option for any content that is great all year round. If you choose the seasonal loop option, you can set specific start and stop times for this loop to post that will automatically repeat every year. As with all your loop settings, you'll be able to go back and change these at any time. I'm going to create a loop for Tailwind's Pinterest for Beginners content. This isn't seasonal content, so I'll choose Evergreen as my loop type. Now it's time to give my loop a name and pick which boards I want my new loop to pin to. I recommend naming your loop something that will help you identify which type of content you'll be adding to your loop. Most people create a loop based on a topic they pin about. For example, one might name their loop Instapot Recipes. Another type of loop we've seen people create is based on a group of top performing content that they want to keep active. A name like Top Performing Blog Posts would be a good example in this case. I'll keep it simple and name my loop Pinterest for Beginners. Next, if you know that a majority of your pins in this loop will be going to the same boards, you can save time by adding all of them to this section. You always have the option to choose exactly which boards to schedule to when you're adding a pin to the loop. And these default boards will just be saved as your preferred preference. This way, you won't have to choose every board from scratch each time you add a new pin to this loop. An easy way to get started is to choose a board list if you have one set up. I have a board list called Pinterest Groups that I'll add now to get started. I know that I can adjust these boards later on individual pins if I need to, but since most of my pins in this loop will go to all of these boards, this will save me time later. Feel confident adding any board, even group boards with strict rules. In a moment, I'll show you how to set up board rules to make sure you never have to worry about posting too often to any boards you want to limit. Finally, in this section, it defaults to all year round since I chose to create an evergreen loop earlier. If I was setting up a seasonal loop, this is where I could select when it starts and ends, and SmartLoop will automatically begin looping my pins during that time period every year without me having to lift a finger. Now for the fun part, adding pins to my new loop. In this step, I can quickly select which content to add to my new loop. Your most recently added pins will appear at the top, but you can also search for specific pins or filter by your Pinterest boards. It will automatically only show pins that are from my own website, making it easy to filter out any pins that I don't want to be reshared by SmartLoop. I can also sort by my most popular pins to bring all my most engaging content right to the top so I can add pins that are already getting great traction on Pinterest. For this example, I'll select some of my most popular pins on my Pinterest marketing board and click Add Pins to Loop. Now that I have all the pins I want in my loop, I can choose how often I want this new loop to post. For each loop you create, Tailwind will suggest two recommendations for how often to post based on how much of your schedule you want this loop to take up. If you want this loop to take up a larger part of your schedule, you can choose your core content. Otherwise, if you want the content you are looping to take up a smaller part of your schedule, you can choose niche topic. You also have the option to completely customize your schedule 
by clicking this link to select Advanced Settings. For each recommendation, you can see the number of time slots that will be added to your schedule in addition to your regular schedule and how long it will take to loop through all the pins you added. The calendar will show you a visual of what your new schedule will look like with the new time slots. You can always adjust this later from the loop settings if you change your mind and want to increase or decrease how often you want to post from any loop. Since one of the main topics I pin about is Pinterest, I'll choose core content for my new loop. After I choose how often I want to post from this loop, Tailwind will automatically create a smart schedule with the best times to pin each week. Now that my schedule is all set, the last and optional step is setting up board rules. You can use board rules to control how often pins you're looping are being published to certain boards. Board rules are awesome because they make sure you stay active on the boards you care about without worrying about breaking rules or spamming your followers. This can come in handy for group boards that limit the number of pins you can share in a certain time period. To create a new board rule, just select a board and choose the number of days you'd like to wait before posting another pin to that board. Your board rules will apply to all pins across all your loops, so you don't have to set them up every time you create a new loop. So if I include my Great Promoted Pins group board in two different loops, I know that Smart Loop will make sure that it's waiting at least three days before posting another pin from any loop to that board. Also, keep in mind that board rules won't apply to pins scheduled regularly in Tailwind outside of Smart Loop. So it's good to be mindful of that when you're scheduling regular non-looping pins. Great, we have our new loop all set up. I can look on the left side of the Smart Loop dashboard to see all my loops. Notice that this icon indicates whether or not my loop is seasonal. Hover over any loop in the list to put a loop on pause, edit the loop settings, or delete a loop permanently. You can pause your loop at any time and that will remove all of its pins from your schedule until you activate the loop again. You can see that I have some loops paused here at the bottom that I want to make some adjustments to before I set live. Clicking a loop will show you the content in that loop as well as a loop summary at the top so you can check in and see how your content is doing. The loop summary shows you what's coming up in your schedule, how many pins you have looping, and how many board rules are applied. The loop performance section at the bottom will show you what pins have already been published and how many repins you've received. In this section, you can also edit the pins in your loop. Let's say I want to change the pin description on a pin in my loop and add some new hashtags. I can do that here like this. I can also add or remove a board from a pin as well. And if I want to completely remove a pin from my loop, maybe one that's underperforming, I can do that here by hitting the delete button to remove it from any future time slots on my schedule. You can sort by repins, publish pin, repins for pin, as well as date added to make it easier to manage all of your smart loop content. We want you to be able to see how well the content you have is performing. So we've added individual performance stats on each of your pins. You can see how often a looping pin has been published and see how many repins it's received. The repin per pin stat gives you an average of how well your pin is doing in the loop. In addition to performance, you can also see a preview of the upcoming schedule for each looping pin so you know what's coming up on your schedule. If you want a more visual reference of your upcoming pins, it helps to take a look at your schedule on the right hand side. You will now see every pin in a loop has a small smart loop icon to differentiate it in the schedule. Each loop will be a different color so you can easily see how frequently your loops are posting in addition to your regularly scheduled content. To avoid longer loading times in smart loop, we only display up to two to four weeks of your upcoming smart loop schedule but it will continue to fill in your time slots indefinitely unless you pause your loop. One last thing to help you out before you get started. You will see a Smart Loop Post container in your dashboard. Smart Loop Posts are the number of pins we're managing for you across all your loops. Each board a pin is set to loop to counts as one post. For example, a pin looping to 10 boards counts as 10 Smart Loop Posts, regardless of how often it actually pins each month. Tailwind Plus plan members will always have a free plan available to use Smart Loop in their account, 
with the option to add additional Smart Loop posts through paid power-ups. And new Tailwind members will be able to try out Smart Loop as part of their free trial. And that's it! I hope you're excited to dive in and try Smart Loop now that you've mastered the basics. Most people that are fully set up with Smart Loop have a couple loops for each niche they pin about, loops for key seasons and holidays that are relevant for them, and special loops targeted at their top performing content. Remember, it's important to keep your content relevant and fresh, so avoid oversharing the same content too often. Check back in on your loops frequently to remove underperforming pins or update descriptions on the pins that are working well for you. We hope SmartLoop will help you save time so you can get back to doing what you love. Happy looping!